Groundwater is used by everyone in this region. People here use groundwater for drinking, for sanitation, to grow their food, for business. In 2014, California experienced a really historic drought that had very disproportionate impacts. In Tulare County alone, over 1,400 wells went dry. There was very visual devastation that the drought left. We really had to work at the local, regional, state, and even federal level to create funding programs to provide interim solutions, emergency relief. There's still some families that rely right now on those tanks and wells that are still going dry because our groundwater table is still declining. How do we share the groundwater? How do we prepare for future droughts? My name is Maria Herrera, and I've spent the last 12 years working with residents to ensure that we have access to safe and affordable drinking water. My parents and I and my sister immigrated to the United States from Mexico when I was three years old. Worked as a young adult in the fields with my parents. My dad's 62, he's still working in the fields. Most of our neighbors worked in the fields. I led grassroots organizing campaign for AB 685. In September 2012, Governor Brown signed AB 685 into law, making California the first of the nation to legislatively recognize the human right to water. A lot of residents in Seville are really engaged right now in the drinking water issues. They've come together to form a local community services district so that they can be in charge of owning and operating their water system. Being part of that and seeing that and working on projects only reinforced my passion. Throughout these last 12 years, it has absolutely not been easy, especially for a young person, a woman of color that grew up in a low-income farm working community who immigrated from Mexico, who's still working on her college degree. Having all of that brings me a lot of strength and makes me very unique. I feel very privileged that I've served a variety of different capacities, you know, as an organizer, as an advocate, as a technical assistance provider, as a commissioner, and now sort of elevating that and bringing those skills to the governor's office. Community is important to me because it's where I feel safe, where I feel included and loved. I am really proud of my accomplishments. I want my community to thrive. I want more women of color, particularly those that grew up in underrepresented communities, like the ones I grew up in, to get engaged, to get involved, and to advocate for change.